Transmit on satellite and on short wave at frequency 96.25 kilohertz. Live here. Jeanette Winterstein, Pentecostal parent, had big plans for her. She would be a missionary, but then Jeanette fell in love with a woman. Oops. I mean, they're all in evangelical churches generally. It's not just no sex. There's certainly no sex with your own sex. Jeanette Winterstein talks about her new memoir, Why Be Happy When You Can Be Normal, on Tapestry with Mary Hines. This afternoon at 2, 2.30 in Newfoundland, 3 Pacific, 4 Mountain. Right after the news, it's Day 6 with Brent Bambury. The Truman Show was a movie about a man whose entire life was staged. An unwitting star for Wild right. TV. Now, 14 years after the movie's release, psychologists are discovering patients who believe their lives are scripted. No delusion tonight on Day 6. This is the CBC News. is seeking financial support from its partners in the Eurozone to bail out its troubled banks. The Spanish economy minister, Luis de Guindos, says the support will be in the form of a loan at favorable rates. And he says the terms of that loan will be determined in the next few days. Tom Burridge reports. The de Guindos would not give a figure for how much money would be available. But Europe's finance ministers have now confirmed that a line of credit of up to 100 billion euros will be established for Spain. Money that will be used to shore up troubled Spanish banks. However, Mr. de Guindos told journalists that it was not a bailout. In his words, it amounted to a favourable loan. The reason, he said, was that Spain's rescue deal would not carry tough economic conditions. That was the case in the bailouts of Portugal, Greece or Ireland. The BBC's Tom Burridge in Madrid. Opposition activists in Syria say at least 17 people were killed Saturday when security forces shelled the southern city of Dera. Another 40 people were killed in clashes across the country. The Russian foreign minister says Russia is growing increasingly concerned about the situation in Syria, but Sergei Lavrov says he will continue to oppose any attempt by the UN Security Council to sanction the use of force. Yes, we all of this is a dangerous game. Our position remains unchanged. We will not agree to the use of force being authorized in the UN Security Council. That would lead to the gravest of consequences for the whole of the Middle East. Lavrov says it appears as if Syria is on the brink of civil war. A small plane crashed in the community of 100 miles south in northern B.C. Saturday. The Cessna 127 was apparently caught in a downdraft. Its wheels hit a power line and the plane went down in a parking lot. Jackie McDonald was outside the restaurant where she works when it happened. We have an airport across the highway and a small plane took off and he hit the wires, telephone wires, and then he came across the highway and we have a big metal sign. He hit the sign and the wing came off, and then he flew and smashed into the building right beside us. The three people on board the plane were uninjured, and no one on the ground was hurt. However, the plane did destroy a parked car. Constable Leslie Smith says the outcome could have been much worse. I think people are extremely lucky today. We have a parking lot that was affected as well as a restaurant, and in this instance, we only had three people on board the Cessna, and they were uninjured. So here we have a situation where it could have been extremely tragic, but yet at this stage, we're just cleaning up the debris. The Transportation Safety Board has now taken over the investigation. It may be a very wet weekend in parts of Alberta, overhead and underfoot. Major rainstorms are expected, and that could mean major flooding. Officials are particularly concerned about the Bow River as it flows through Banff. Megan Grant has more. In Banff National Park, heavy snow across the area while a flood warning remains in effect. Raging river water likely to rise again with 100 millimeters of rain predicted by Environment Canada before tomorrow afternoon. It's a waiting game now. Mountain towns like Banff, Canmore and Lake Louise have already built berms and sandbags along some of the threatened banks. Many recreational areas are closed as the river spills over its banks and creeps towards paths and picnic tables. Megan Grant, CBC News, Banff. 
The pastor of a mega church in Atlanta has been arrested and accused of choking and punching his 15-year-old daughter. Pastor Cray Fellow Dollar claims he was merely trying to restrain his daughter and thanked her for being disrespectful. Dollars faces misdemeanor charges of simple battery and cruelty to children. His Atlanta church has 30,000 members. And finally, in the NHL, there will be a Game 6 in Los Angeles. The New Jersey Devils hung on and beat the Kings 2-1. to one. The Kings lead the championship series. It's now down to three games, two. And that's the news. Bubble run to Max. He sees you at Nemo Abbey. He tweets, have a tag, have a dog, that's 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 so it's my girl again here. Then I go to watch one here. They start cool with yeah, my one thing. I am hanging on. Then I get back to the house. Then I get out to beat and hit the watch one. So I don't get it. Then I go back again. Then I go on to the watch one. Yeah, my girl. So I start my girl to watch one. So I start this guy. Means that he into the man. Go to the stage. Means that I go sit. At the corner, I'm going to go now. I watch me. Yeah, my girl. At the corner, I'm going to go. I watch me. I go to the watch one. So I go to the watch one. CBC North, Quebec, P.O. Box 6000, Montreal, Quebec, H3C 3A8. Yeah, my daddy, but you beat that beat that exam, so he can know. Yeah, you beg now. Yeah, you beg down, he saw. Now, yeah, it's all right, so it's beg. So, she beg on the door, so I can't make who would start, so not start, so beg. No, 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 he saw, so he saw. Yeah, you beg down, he saw. No, no, it's good, so it's beg down. Ici Radio-Canada, Nord-Québec. Ainsi se terminent nos émissions quotidiennes. Ces émissions, pour une courte, sont diffusées à la fréquence 9625 kHz, jusqu'à 6h58 heure de l'Est, jusqu'à la fermeture à 1h04 du matin. Ces émissions vous parviennent de Montréal, au Québec, et notre émetteur est situé à Sackville, au nord brunswick Adressez toute correspondance à Radio-Canada, Nord-Québec, casse postale 6000, Montréal-Québec, H3C 3A8. Vous téléphonez-nous au numéro 1877-597-4369. Oui.